Hey team, so on today's Coach's Corner, we're gonna talk about unilateral training versus bilateral training, where its place is in our programs and who it's kind of best for. So unilateral training is a single limb exercise. So that could be anything from a single leg squat, uh, a lunge, or even an overhead press. Whereas bilateral training is a two limb exercise and that can be a squat, a bench press, overhead press, anything we're using two limbs at once. So the benefits of unilateral training are things like the increased stabilizing demand. So when you're doing things like say a, a bench press, there's an anti-rotation position. So if I'm holding a dumbbell on this arm, it's gonna want me to push into this direction. So then I've got to try and resist the rotation there and maintain a nice stable frame. Because if you don't have a stable environment, then the muscle finds it very hard to contract. So the part of the unilateral training is trying to give yourself a stable environment to contract and perform at your best position. So this then leads into the next section where it's the skill and strength transfer into sports. So lots of sports like fencing, cricket, football, all have unilateral aspects to it. They've all got places where they need to be stabilizing on one leg in order to contract the other and, and use it to an optimal position. So th the other side of this is you have a, a symmetry side where if you have muscular imbalances on one side, you need to have a nice symmetrical side on the other. So if there are imbalances, unilateral exercises are gonna be there so we can work on those imbalances for a much more symmetrical um, physique itself and strength output. So then the other side of unilateral training, a bit more of a potential negative side, not really, but uh, we have a strength deficit. So the strength deficit is you can't expect to lift half the weight you lift doing a bilateral exercise when you do a unilateral exercise. Because the unilateral exercise, you have a stabilizing element, so then it, it limits the amount you can load. Whereas with the bilateral exercise, it's a much more stable environment and there's more motor units that are gonna be able to be recruited to contract better. When it comes to bilateral exercises, as I mentioned earlier, with the heavier load being able to lift in that stable environment, it's also gonna increase the demand on our nervous system. And when we have an extra demand on our nervous system, at the muscle, there's gonna be more motor units needed to be recruited. If there's more motor units being recruited, then our potential to have a greater output is there, which is great. So being able to lift more uh, is gonna contribute in promoting strength and hypertrophy adaptations in our training. Uh, the stability in, uh, in the movement is also gonna be good for, for beginners especially. So if you're gonna have someone that is um, new to exercises, unilateral exercises aren't necessarily gonna be the best option for them because they're gonna be very unstable. Whereas a bilateral exercise for a beginner having a nice stable environment is gonna be much better and more efficient for them. As they progress in their training, they'll earn the right to start doing unilateral movements more than the bilateral movements, and then they can start incorporating both into their training. So the other component of bilateral training is the core activation side of things. So although you have a, a increased stabilizing demands in the uh, unilateral one, in the bilateral, having a heavy load on you, so say for a squat or a deadlift, for example, they're very heavy loading exercises, so you need a lot of trunk stiffness. So by breathing and embracing hard, we're gonna create a lot of stiffness and we're not letting our spine move under a heavy load. So this is gonna really target our core, stabilizing muscles so that we can perform better in other movements. And again, transfer into other sports like rugby's and scrums or other sports where you have to generate a lot of power from bracing and driving up, so anything explosive. So to summarize, unilateral training and bilateral training both have their place in, uh, in our programs, especially if you wanna utilize certain elements of it. So bilateral training, as I mentioned earlier, for beginners, it's probably gonna be more optimal for them to start as they progress, start to incorporate the unilateral exercises. Uh, and that, if we can complement the two together and take the best parts of each one, we're gonna have a very good overall approach to our training and it's then gonna transfer even better into sports we do or just our day-to-day -day stuff. So if we can lift heavier doing bilateral training and if we can stabilize more doing unilateral training and put the two together, it's gonna to be very good to get some more adaptations overall in our body. So thanks for listening and we'll see you again next time.